Nowadays, people personify sexy as how little a character is wearing, how big of a chest they have, especially if they're female. And it, it's not always like that. There's a lot of characters out there that are just very confident in themselves. They put themselves out there without caring what everyone else is going to think about them. And that's really kind of hot when you think about it. Right, especially for character like what I'm wearing right now, Orin from Final Fantasy X. When you think about him looking at his past, he's a very broken character. He's done a lot of stupid crap. He's got a lot of regrets. But when he meets up with this new group, he tries to look out for them. Make sure that they don't screw up as bad as what he did. And that's incredibly sexy. It really is. See, the making of this cosplay, I did a yeah, rule 63, which is turning male to female and vice versa. He's a very boxy character when you look at him, so to slim it down and accentuate it for more of a female form was a little bit of a challenge, but I've done a lot, I probably went through about 10-15 different sketches before I finally started looking online for what I wanted to do. Makeup, you know, he's a fighter, he really doesn't, even a female version, you don't want to go with the heavy eyeshadow and lipstick and stuff, I wanted to keep it very neutral with it. I like researching stuff. I mean, I'm a fighter anyways. I've done mixed martial arts for over 20 years. I've done weapon work for probably just as long. So to have a little bit of experience with that really helps. Even if you're just going out and like watching movies or actually sitting in on like a martial arts uh, class, it can help with your characters, especially when you're posing. When it comes to posing, I didn't really want to do the full-on temptress thing, I guess is the best way of putting it, with this character. He is in the end a fighter. So I really wanted to make sure that I was, you know, strong stanced and shoulders back. You know. What a fighter would be, I wanted to make sure, you know, I've kept my guard up with it. I have a five foot sword that's sitting back here that I'm not going to dig out because I'm probably going to break something in my sewing room if I do. You know, I really just kind of take him as a compliment when they say, hey, you look good, or something a little more probably inappropriate. But I'm very fortunate. I have a husband who really kind of encourages what I do, whether it's a plain cosplay or gender neutral. Take your pick. I've done both ranges of the scale here when it comes to sexy and not. He really kind of like discourages the guys who leer and act very inappropriate, which is nice, especially when I'm wearing something that's a little bit more revealing. So a lot of times I don't get to hear the crazy stuff. So but even still, you know, there's idiots and jackasses regardless of where you go. You really just kind of have to brush it off and take it with a grain of salt. Things I'd like to see change with the sexy cosplay groups. In all honesty, it's just watching what you do. A lot of conventions nowadays are very family friendly and family conscious. Don't wear anything out that you wouldn't feel comfortable wearing around your own kids. Like don't go out in a tie back or string back, whatever they call them, and a set of pasties. I'm sorry, I don't want to traumatize my kids by wearing that around the house. I'm not going to subject other people to that. I mean, yes, congratulations, you're confident in your body, but think about what everyone else is going to think about you too. If you don't want to be portrayed as a whore, don't dress like one. You know, certain characters like Cammie, you know, she's known for having that string bag. I guess it's not really string bag, it's more of a thong really when you think about it, and having her backside hanging out, but there are dance tights for a reason, people. Wear them. <laughs> See, as far as doing cosplay as a career, I would love to do this professionally. Um, as it stands right now, I actually <laughs> unload semis for a living as my day job, but I also do commissions on costumes. I make plush dolls. Um, yeah, it's been kind of fun, but for the most part, it's a hobby, and when it really becomes a career and I start stressing out over it, I'm probably not going to do it anymore because this is my escape from the rest of the chaos that is my life. So, it's really about it.